Alrighty guys, so today uh, we're going to have a look at the running back stitch. Alright, so really simple uh, stitch to use and it has a lot of value in historical garment construction. Okay, that's all coming up. Radio running back stitch. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a small knot at the end of my thread. That's probably a little bit big, but there we go. All right, for tutorial purposes, this is fine. Now, today I'm just using a very basic, plain, coarse linen. I have a, uh, a linen thread now, um, and I'm using a needle by a company called Make Your Own Medieval. Now, these guys are really great. Um, I've done a lot of business with them, I've bought a lot of stuff from them. I think they're fantastic. They're located in Queensland, Australia, and uh, I really recommend them. They, they really do know their stuff and they go out of their way to help you. So um, they're not pushy salespeople at all. I find them just really like a lot of fun to, to talk to as well. So, so there you go. Um, all right, running back stitch. Now I'm gonna use this on uh, garment construction definitely. Um, and what you typically do is you'll do maybe four or five stitches, running stitch. Typically I use a stitch length of around about uh, four to six millimeters. That's pretty average for me. Um, does depend on the garment, does depend on the fabric that I'm sewing. So for instance, if I'm using something like a silk or a fine linen, something like that, then my stitches are normally a bit shorter. Um, if I'm using something like a wool or a coarse linen such as this, then they're usually they're sort of five, six, seven millimeters long or so. Depends depends on it what, on what it is and what I'm doing. Uh, all right, so basically what you're doing here is you do, as I say, four to five stitches. Pull your needle through, and then you come back on the last one, just like a back stitch. All right. So, um, and can come through and then you just recommence the next row. Right, yeah, so again, about four to five stitches. So this just needs to be consistent. So if it's four stitches and a back stitch, then you need to do four stitches and a back stitch. If it's, you know, five stitches and a back stitch, then, then that's what you're sort of doing. Uh, your stitch length wants to be consistent as well and and just keep going from there alrighty guys um, that's pretty much how you do a running back stitch uh, lots of lots of uh, it's just a really easy stitch to do um, and I really enjoy using this to put together um, handmade garments I find it just really easy very simple um, because I think a handmade garment is a really interesting way to show uh, yourself, to express yourself through your craft. Um, I mean, I do lots of different crafts, historical crafts, leather work, a bit of pottery, lots of garment construction, lots of woodwork and so on. And I find it just really nice and uh, I think it's very relaxing and it's really creative and I really enjoy it. Alrighty, um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've got something out of today's video. Please like, subscribe and share and I'll catch you in my next video.